What's up guys? Hey, it's Flip Masters, and I'm just coming to you to show you my new Canon EOS M50. And this is a fun little camera that I'm going to be using a lot for all of my vlogs and stuff, because we're starting a whole new style of video production on my Flip Masters Productions. So one thing you're gonna notice real quick is some sound. You can hear it. Let me just be real quiet. You can hear the sound. So obviously that was really annoying. Listen to all that background noise and everything. So what we need to do is fix that. And the program we're gonna use for that is Audacity. So let's do a quick adjustment and we'll let you hear the difference in how the sound is gonna be. In just a few seconds, I'm gonna completely cut all the background noise out. Okay, now we know what we want to do to make the change. This is the little sample file that we're going to change. Let's hear it real quick. Okay, you can hear the sample file. So what we need to do now is get the sound and edit itself. So we just right click over on the audio tab and we go to our audio editor. It just seems like that just seems to work really good. Now this is a whole file of the sound editing of that file. And that was just a clip that we actually split off from the rest. But we know that's back here in the back. So what we need to do is get our sound profile. So let's check that. That's our sound profile. And you try not to get any background noise. I heard a click in there. So let's recheck it again. Perfect. We just go to our effects tab, come down over here to noise reduction, and uh, set our sensitivity at six. 12, six, and three seems to be the best. We get our noise profile. And then right here, we'll just select the entire thing. It's no problem because what I'll do is I'll just move it across the entire thing and recreate the edit. Effect, noise reduction again. And then since we have it, we can preview. You can hear it's already dropped down. So obviously that was really annoying. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. It'll drop the sound, but there's still a little bit left. So I'm gonna push play. Slightly hear it. So we're gonna do it one more time. And this time we're gonna do some adjustments to the sensitivity. We're gonna bring it down to three. We'll get our noise profile, do the entire, uh, select the entire uh, piece of the sound uh, from that clip. Noise reduction again, and then we hit, you can preview it, much better. So we'll hit okay, and now let's, we can play it real quick. So obviously that was really annoying. And there you go. The background noise is completely different. You can hear me really clear and there's no problem. So using Audacity along with your vlogging camera to create a much better scene and a much better mood. Speaking of scenes, we need to do some adjustments with these lights. Now, of course, this camera we can have a lot of fun with. We could do a lot of interesting things and we're gonna play around with it a little bit. Um, a couple photos, a couple adjustments, things like that. But most of the time, you're not gonna see this type of lighting. You're actually gonna see something completely different. Okay, so this type of lighting actually works for this type of camera. But we're gonna amp it up a little bit and do a little bit of color change to make it look more like a studio look and everything. This is a fun effect that you can do with any type of vlogging camera. So check it out, we're gonna do that right now. Okay, there you go. Now the scene is completely set and uh, you can see the color differences and stuff like that. It makes a big difference when you're actually creating your scene for like a studio style look and everything like that. This camera does really well with contrasting light like the blue and the green you see before me. With this 1545 kit lens, it seems to work just fine in these type of conditions. So I'm really excited about that. This is a fun little camera to play with. Now this is a completely different setup from the original camera that I used to use, which is a GoPro Hero 7. It's a good little camera for doing action shots and stuff like that. But for vlogging and stuff, it's a little grainy, a couple problems, and the field of view is a little weird and kind of cattywampus. This camera right here is actually really good for this type of video production. So it also does really good photos and everything else, and it's cheap. The price point, you can't argue with it. The average price of being $600 to $700 for a kit setup. You can also buy them used for anywhere between $500 and $600 used. And sometimes they have good lenses or they have cages, which we will actually be getting a cage and a microphone and a couple other things that'll be coming in very soon. You'll see that on the next vlog. I personally think I'm gonna have to wear makeup with this camera, for real, because, damn. <laughs> okay.
Okay. So we're testing. Let's test one, two. Aperture F35. 30. ISO is 1250. So thank y'all so much for hanging out with me right now, just checking out my new camera and the new vlog and everything's gonna be. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the like if you'd like. That helps me know if you like this type of video and you want me to do a little bit more of them, okay? So appreciate it. We'll see you on the next episode.